my name is Brianna and today I'm doing an overdue update. I am 41 weeks and four days pregnant today. So feeling like an overstuffed sausage slash beached whale, I think is what I just said to a friend earlier today. But I know this isn't a typical weekly update. I did a 41 week update. But I did just wanna kind of go over how this feels at this point and some updates from our doctor's appointment this week since I shot the 41 week update prior to that doctor's appointment. Other mamas out there, if you are watching this and you are 41 weeks or just overdue in general, I feel like the sliver of us at this point has to be pretty small. I think in a lot of countries, even somebody told me in Canada, I think it's 41 Hi. weeks and three days. Hi. Hi, would you like to say hello? No, no, no. <laughs> He's camera shy today. But sorry, he's gonna play in here while I'm doing this. So if you hear background noises, that's why. My doctor was comfortable though with up to 42 weeks. She just didn't want me to go past 42 weeks. So we did set an induction date for... Lightning. What? Lightning. Lightning. I didn't see any lightning. It's supposed to thunderstorm Please. later. My little weatherman. I feel like my pregnancy brain is crazy right now though, so sorry if I'm a bit scattered. Hi. Hi. <laughs> And I have my toddler running in and out. So, oh, thank you, lovey. So huge thank you to you guys because I know between Snapchat, Instagram, but on Instagram I can see the messages that you've sent me via direct message. Hi, I love you. You're gonna be a big brother, huh? Hi. Hi, say I'm gonna be big brother. The direct messages you've sent me with advice or just support, kindness, prayers, positivity has truly kept me going. Cause at this point, I'm not gonna lie, it just feels so disheartening cause you're just like, I've tried everything and I'll talk about that in this video. I did <laughs> pregnancy brain, I made a list just so that I didn't miss anything. I don't think I could say it enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you for just being so kind in comments, messages on the videos, on Instagram. It has made me seriously stay so much more positive. Hi. Hi. All right, so let's talk about what happened at the doctor's appointment this week. The first thing they did was a non-stress test for the baby to check her heart rate and check me for contractions. Her heart rate they felt was perfect. They were not concerned whatsoever. The nurse did say I had a couple of contractions while I was hooked up to the monitor, but it wasn't anything again, that I feel like is that big zinging, ooh, this is like a serious labor contraction. I'm like waiting to have that moment. The second thing they did was an internal exam. I was still at three centimeters, so it's now been over a week. I've been three centimeters at that point. It was six Hi. days. Hi. Hi. And the third thing they did at the doctor's appointment was the BPP ultrasound, which I believe stands for the biophysical profile ultrasound. So essentially they were checking for amniotic fluid to make sure that there was still enough amniotic fluid, that the placenta was okay, that everything with baby in the ultrasound was right and to see how she was measuring. They approximated she was at eight pounds. Hi. <laughs> Hi. So the little girl that they were so concerned about not growing, if she really is eight pounds, that's a pretty plump baby. Landon was only seven pounds, five ounces. So if she truly is eight pounds and you know, with every day, if she's just packing on a few more ounces, I'm just a little intimidated for pushing her out at this point, but like, let's do it. I'm so ready. Some of the tips and advice from you around natural induction, as well as things I've read in my apps or my baby books, I wanted to just share everything I've tried, but there has been a couple of things that one, I'm just not comfortable doing, and the other thing, I just haven't actually gone and gotten it to do it. It wouldn't be that I wouldn't. Here is what we've tried. <laughs> my membranes have been swept two times now, so at my 39-week appointment and my 40-week appointment, membranes were swiped. I have been very physically active between all of the cleaning nesting I've been doing, plus I've been walking every single day, minimum half hour. Usually I'm going on multiple walks throughout the day. I've been going up and down the stairs in my house when I take a break from working. That was the question I got is if I'm still working and I'm still just trying to do as much as possible. It's kind of been a really easy work week because I essentially was a week overdue the week prior. 
So I kind of closed everything up that needed to be closed up for that week. So I've just been diving in to work on some sort of projects that it doesn't really matter where I stopped or start in case I were to go into labor. I've been on the bouncing ball. I've done some of the hip rocking and dancing exercises that folks have sent me that should help induce labor. Now this feels a bit personal, but I, you know, whatever. I'm a married lady and I wouldn't be pregnant if I didn't, but my husband and I have been intimate, so we've tried that. I feel like that's the number one thing you get told is like you hit 40 weeks and people are like, you need to go have sex. Tried it multiple times. TMI. I've tried the acupressure points in both feet and on hands that are supposed to help induce contractions. I have been pumping every single day for now over a week. We're on a week and a day that I've been pumping every single day for that nipple stimulation. I have been taking warm baths. I also got a pedicure this week. I've been doing just, you know, any hugging, cuddling, belly rubbing. I've heard that kind of along with intimacy can help you release the hormones that they think trigger labor, so try that as well. I've also tried just visualization of her, you know, coming out, going through labor, going through the birth canal, having the baby, as well as just meditation. I've also been trying to get as good of a night's sleep as possible, going to bed early. Food-wise, I've been cramming pineapple. I've also been trying to eat a ton of different spicy foods, whether it's buffalo wings or really hot salsa, hot sauces. I've also been eating as much Italian or like garlicky, oregano, basil, marinara kind of foods. I've been drinking the red raspberry leaf tea. Just drinking a ton of water, Gatorade in general, really trying to stay hydrated. I also make sure I have oatmeal or I'm eating foods that have a lot of fiber, generally for breakfast every single morning, just cause they say anything that kind of keeps your digestive system running can help trigger labor. And I've also tried dates. I know that was some of the advice that I also got a couple of folks message me. So at this point, I feel like I've tried any natural induction method besides, these are the two things I haven't tried, is the castor oil. I already feel like I have a very active digestive system. When I went into labor with Landon, it just happened. And I think they say like that's one of the signs is your body naturally just expels everything. Um, I was also vomiting when I was in labor with Landon. So I feel like that's just, if my body would respond similarly, that's likely going to happen anyways. So I don't need the castor oil to exacerbate that. Then I just haven't gotten the primrose oil. I looked the one time when I was at the store and they didn't have the capsules. So... I just kind of gave up. It's one of those things where I'm like, well, I didn't see it, so not getting it, not trying it. And since this is probably one of the last times I'll take a picture or a video of my belly, here is what the 41 week and four day belly looks like. It's from the side. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And here's the big old belly. That's uh, the big old belly. Like me, me, like me. Yeah, that's the baby in there. I Watch know. out. <laughs> you want to kiss it. the baby? Aw. You're so sweet. You give her hugs, give her a kiss. You give her a kissy? Aw. You tell her baby out. Yeah, do you want her out? Out. Say baby out. Oh. <laughs> down please okay <laughs> no, we'll see if I have the time to edit this it kind of depends on Presley and <laughs> again everything this girl just keeps surprising me if I don't get this video up yay you came Presley if I do have the time it means that likely we are on the path towards your induction date we still have three days until the induction date so we'll see if you decide to come on your own or come on that day. It's, you know, at this point, because I think we have the date, even Adam said, it's sort of a sense of relief of knowing, okay, there is an end. And we are going to try to do like a final date out the night before if we make it to that point. So we shall see. I don't know. You are just one funny little personality in there and I can't wait to hold you and meet you. Truly, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
without the support, kind words, comments, messages, positivity, I wouldn't be able to be as positive as I feel like I can be at this point where I am just so done, so ready to have this baby but you've all helped me tremendously. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you are a mama out there in the same boat who's overdue, over 40 weeks, or even, I feel like you even get to week 38 and you're just like, okay, I'm ready for this to be over. So every day that passes from, I feel like that point for me has been like a, gotta suck it up, give myself a pep talk every single day. You can get through it. You can get through this. No, I am praying for you. If you want to leave in the comments, you know, anything you're experiencing, how you're feeling, so that other viewers out there who are maybe in the same boat, we can all sympathize with one another, support one another, be positive, pray for one another. Please leave that in the comments below. And if you have any sort of induction trick, maybe I didn't mention, leave that in the comments too, what works for you when you are pregnant maybe to start your labor so other mamas who might be in this overdue boat can learn from you too. What's in P's crib? You don't know? What, what is that in Presley's crib? Did you put the choo-choo train in the crib? <laughs> well, make sure you're following me on Instagram and Snapchat so that you can see the first pictures of baby P whenever she decides to arrive. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Bye guys. <laughs> Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye guys. Bye bye guys.